with race promoter and organizer Richard Sharp on the front porch of the Terlingua Trading Company in the ghost town. Uh, Mr. Sharp, what race is this? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the 18th annual Run for Stupidity. And what exactly is the Run for Stupidity? And who's, who's involved? Uh, many of these people that you can't see because the camera's pointed at me will be part of it. See, pan, pan, there you go. That's great. That's great so far. Okay. Uh, back on me. Back on okay. me. My face. Um, and there's absolutely no reason for it except that uh, there's no reason for it. So have you been working hard these weeks, grooming the trail, making uh, sure no, it's nice and safe? No, I've been in safe. Austin at a uh, uh, Eagles concert. Uh huh. And it was very good. You're an Eagle Scout, aren't you? I am. Uh, be prepared. <laughs> and so the, tra the trail is ready though for the race today? And oh, I haven't have seen safe it yet. Time? I have no idea. And spectators, are they along the course? The, there oh, are hecklers. There are hecklers. Hecklers Union 101 uh -huh. uh, from the Big Bend National Park have been represented here. Uh, I saw a lot of them as stones this morning. <laughs> no, this they were stoned this morning. Uh and this is the first year you've been internationally sanctioned, isn't it? Yes, it took us uh, oh, 22 of the last 18 years to get sanctions as official no whining sector. Okay, and uh, what is your beer to band-aid ratio today on the course, yourself personally? Uh, I think two beers per band-aid will keep me going for a mile. What is your secret to actually finishing the race? Uh, not starting. Okay. <laughs> And uh, what is your strategy to win the title as the stupidest man involved today? What do you have your strategy? Uh, I'm going to take a quick dive off at the beginning of the course, get back here and start drinking early before anybody else shows up. And what was your inspiration for this race? Uh, my parents, they were both stupid and they taught me to be stupid. Thank you very much. This is Cindy Burns. Ms. Burns, uh, rumor has it that last year you showed up for photo ops at the beginning of the race, um, then headed out on the course as if you were going to race, but you were seen later at home flashing participants from your front porch. I believe that was the year before. Is, that, is this a true Two story? You just show up to get your picture in the paper. This is true. Here we have Miss Jennifer Hogue. Uh, I'm with Stupid. Is this your first Stupid race? No. How many have you done of the 18th? Oh, I've only done, this is maybe my fourth one. And uh, did you ever place a stupidest no, woman in Terlingua? No. Never been in the running. I'm still working on it. So the losers can try again. Uh -huh. Good. And what's your strategy today for winning? Uh, I'm going to just go slow and, and not take any chances. You're not going to be stupid? No. Okay. No. How many band aids did you bring? I didn't bring you see you. What is your name, sir, and why are you here today? Tom Jones. Yes. From Las Vegas. And what are you doing here on the porch of the Tulum Ghost Town? Uh, I'm just passing through. Yeah? Are you going to join in the race for stupidity today? What race? You always dress like this? Yeah, is there a race going on? Yes, there is. It's a stupid race, 18th annual, run for stupidity. Uh, it's been sanctioned this year for the first time ever, ever internationally to be a no wine zone. Wow, sounds fun. Yeah. I'll do it. All right, what you got in your uh, little flask there? It's uh, non mentionables Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, would that be in liquid form? Uh -huh. Gas? Gasoline for my bicycle. See, so we'll ride in the stupid race today. Yeah. So what do you do in Las Vegas? Um, you know, I, I sing a little, I dance a little. Mostly I just uh, sleep on the street. All right. Yeah, it's fun. Welcome to Chilinga. Thank you. <laughs> Here we have the lovely Ms. Evans. The Guantanamo talking rights again. He's been he's been bound and gagged and forced to have sex with a uh, inmates. Is that true? And uh, what is your strategy for winning and being the stupidest woman today? Thank you very much. Here we have Marlis Hersey, local editor. What brings you here today in your pink dress? Pink. Pink. The excuse to wear pink. And uh, you'd be participating in the run for stupidity. Yes. And what is your goal today? To finish? To win? To, to run ride people a over? To tight pink dress. As far as I can. Hello. 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 Who are you? Hello. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I am the impersonation of, 
brownie. Last night. Yeah. And why are you here today? I'm here because I'm stupid. All right. Are you planning on winning today? Um, that would be stupid. Yeah. That would definitely be stupid. So what's that? There's someone arriving with an accordion. I think she wins. Yeah. Afro girl? Excuse me, Afro girl? Um, yeah, I'm the disco mountain bike queen. Not to have just come in from the disco. Oh, yes. Yeah? And you still have the energy to do the stupid race? Yes. You've been boogieing all night long and it's a blast. That was your warm up? Oh, yeah. How stupid can you be? Right. Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Here we have Patrick <laughs> Harris. Mr. Harris, I understand you were Mr. Stupid for several years running in Terlingua. Yeah, I had a day. And you lost your yeah, title last year much, yeah. to two guys in a wheelbarrow full of beer. Where are they at? Yeah, where are they? But what's your strategy to win this year? Stupidity. Yep. Yep. Yeah, how's that work for you? Tell me about it. <laughs> it works well. <laughs> yeah. Well, what athletes are, are you inspired by? And did you pass your drug test prior to coming to the race today? I'm currently taking my drug test as we speak. You're testing them right now? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Good luck to you. And what are you, what's your riding today? What are you riding? I'm riding the beach. And that would be a 70 pound tandem with yeah, a coaster brake? 83 break. Schwinn twin with an attitude. 83 Schwinn twin with an attitude. It looks like you've got all your safety equipment, your throw bag. Do you have any band-aids in there? Godzilla's coming, look. Godzilla. You can't have a race without Godzilla. coming on my ass. <laughs> That'd make you go faster. I got some toys. Yeah? Some tequila. Drumsticks. Copper. Damn. Well, good luck to you. I, I also never know uh, what's going to happen. It's stupid. Do you like that? <laughs> so you guys going to try to, to uh, place today? Uh, no? Uh, what's your what's your strategy? My strategy is that. Uh, Ride over rocks. This is a tough course, arduous sporting event. How do you plan to get through it? I'm just gonna help and pray. Yeah? Pray. Got some water? Got a little water. Yeah? yeah. Any beer, band-aids? No, just water. Yeah, I hear Lone Star's coming out with a sports drink. Who has? Lone Star. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard about that? It. Yeah. Well they might be a sponsor next year, Excellent. so we'll have to give it How about a go. This year? I think it's uh, just a regular Lone Star. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, Bob Smith from uh, Tecumseh, Illinois. Yeah? yeah? And what brings you to Trilingua today in your uh, spiffy bike clothes? Did you uh, hear about I, a race? Yeah, I just heard that there was a race. And yeah. I, uh, and you're stupid, so you I thought you'd stupid, show up? So that's my uh, stupid theme, not wearing stupid clothes. Is so this your, uh, we won't say. little son. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is an arduous course if you've never done it. I never have. So is your goal to win the stupid race and, and beat the locals out for the title of stupidest man in Trilingua? Yes. It yes. is. That's, All right. That, that's why I came here. Did you, uh, yes. Exactly. Do they have band-aids in Illinois? Did you think to bring any? We do have a few pokey things in the desert. <laughs> no band-aids. No, Good. I look forward to seeing the blood. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I got a little yesterday, so. All right. Yeah, I think there's a lot of thorn there somewhere, so. Of all of the stupid participants, the disco mountain biking queen was crowned stupidest person in Terlingua 2005. She had to be carried out of the desert, dehydrated and sweaty, leaving her bike by the side of the trail, her glamour left in the dust.